Welcome to Queensland Corrective Services Top Dog. QCS dog squads, also known as Delta units, play a vital role in the dynamic security of our prisons around the state. Working alongside custodial correctional officers and emergency response teams, our Delta units provide a detection and response capability to keep our prisons safe and secure. The number one priority for handlers and their dogs is the safety of our officers and prisoners. Earlier this year, we put the call out to our Delta units to see if they have what it takes to be this year's QCS top dog. Well, the entries are in and they are now in the hands of the judges. QCS Commissioner Peter Martin, QCS Deputy Commissioner for Custodial Operations Gary McCann and QCS Manager for Statewide Development and Standards for the Dog Squad, Alan Swan. So, how does it work? Well, Delta units were asked to submit videos of their dogs in action. And the challenges include obedience, agility, room search, and freestyle. Let's get a quick introduction from a few of our entrants. Hey, g'day guys, my name's Luke. This is my GP dog, Diesel. Uh, I've been in service now for around uh, 12 years as a dog handler. Diesel was the last top dog recipient in the state in 2015. Hi, good afternoon everybody. My name's Dennis Whitfield. Uh, I work here at Capricornia Correctional Centre for 38 years. Uh, I've been a member of the dog squad here for 34 years. Uh, but today it's not about me, it's about Ox. We were teamed up this year. We um, came off course, graduated in April of 2020. Uh, he's a lovely little dog. He's uh, a funny little fella, but he's a pocket rocket. Hello, everyone. My name is Jazz. I am a Corrective Services General Purpose Dog, and I have been working for QCS for the last 15 months. I have my very own human, whom I have trained. His name is Scott. Oh, and here he comes now. Scott tells me he has been a Corrective Services Dog Handler for 13 years. We both work out of Wollston Correctional Center and Brisbane Women's Correctional Center. In today's episode, we will also see Tim and Boss from Southern Queensland Correctional Center, Lee and Cato from Lotus Glen Correctional Centre and also Ryan and Tallis from Townsville Correctional Centre. Let's see what our entrants have to show us. Okay, this is Luke and Diesel from Townsville, Townsville Correctional Centre, doing obedience. Looks a bit uh, in a nice shady spot there that he's working with, which is good. That's a fairly big complex, mm. uh, Townsville, isn't it? Yeah, very yeah. much so. Yeah. Yeah. How many dogs up there all together? Oh, I think they've got nine up there, nine I think. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Yep. And he's responding really well. Yep. The Luke, the handler, has been a, a handler for uh, for 12 years. Yeah. Yeah, a lot yep. of them go into the area and stay in there. They love yep. working with the dogs. Yeah. A bit of creep there, but yep. not too yep. bad. Again, a bit of creep. That's good. Looking good. Ryan, Ryan and Tellus. Okay. Game from Townsville. Yep. He's responding really well. His tail's wagging. Got a good bond by the look of him. Wanting to please. That's what you want to see. He's happy. The dog's loving doing that. Look at him. He's enjoying is that, that. Is it difficult to get a dog to do that? No, no. He's no. just happy. They want he's to please back. the handler. Okay. That's what they yep. want to do. Yep. And, and he's got a very good bond with him. He's yep. doing really well. Yeah, you can always, see the dog looking at the handler. Yeah, know, he's the, always looking up to make yeah. sure that, uh, you know, you're happy with what I'm doing. Yeah. His yeah, tail's that's wagging. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Very good. Nice response. So it looks like the German Shepherds are yeah. a preferred breed? Yeah, for, they for are. This type yeah, of very much so. Yeah, yeah multi-purpose okay. dogs. For, yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, we come down Scott to the, the, the South East yeah, now. That's right. <laughs> it's whether or not he gets extra points for the, uh, <laughs> for the effort for the uniform. Yes, yeah. yes. He's off the lead now. A mm. lot harder off the lead. Is it? Yeah, yeah okay. very much so. Yep. Got full control. Now you're relying on the bond and the and the level of experience that you have with the dog. So okay. that's really good. That's not too bad so far. So to the casual so observer, that wouldn't be obvious, would it? So, no. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. It's good. 
you're always reluctant to drop, so he's got to do an extra command there. Looking around, a bit distracted, but that's yes. good. Yeah, there seemed to be a dis dis mm. distraction mm. there, wasn't there? This is Tim and Boss. So he's he's still on the obedience here. That's really good. There's a, bit, a very good bond between these two. Yep. Let the dog to drop. Come back up. He's just wanting to be with the handler, isn't he? Yes. Very responsive. They do, a, you know, three months of intensive training. So it's in a very intensive training where they've got to do all the obedience, agility, yep. on lead, off lead. Uh, that's good. He's got good good control over the dog. Yep. The dog see how the dog's hugging close to his body and always looking up. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, very good control. Now he's doing the distance control with him. Very, very happy. That's a good down. They're always reluctant to down because it's a submissive, submissive action for oh, the dog. Yeah. Okay. Far north now at Lotus no, Glen. Right up the top. Warmer up there. Now how often yeah. would the handlers actually do these sorts of drills with uh, the dogs? They train with them each day, so they, they would do that at a minimum of it. You know, every day they'd be doing running through the obedience, both okay. um, both on lead and off lead. They do that training and they do criminal work. They yep. generally do that each, each week. Right turn. Right, about turn and hold. Unclip him or remove the chain. Right, quick march. The dog's a bit wide out from in ahead of the handler. Yeah. Or he shouldn't be. So there's constant reinforcement mm. in this training. Yeah, so normally basis. you'll always stay with um, keeping them, you know, getting them really well under control on lead before you take them off lead. Don't go of off lead too quickly, because mm -hmm. otherwise you can create bad habits. Beyond a normal shift when they're working with the dog, how, how long would they be undertaking specific training like this? Oh, depending on the time, and the, they would they would normally spend at least you know 15 minutes to half an hour obedience okay. every day with okay. the dog. Um, but if the dog's got to do a little bit more work around the uh, uh, the off lead stuff, they'll work with them on lead, and then they'll get them really highly proficient on lead, and then do it off lead. So it might take a bit longer. They might spend at least an hour each day. Okay. This is yeah. um, Dennis, I think, from Rockhampton. Dennis yeah, has been around right. a very long time. I think he's got about 38 years service, and this is a relatively new dog. But he's got. Mm. That's an impressive run, isn't it? Thirty-eight years. Thirty-eight years. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, 30, yeah. You might have had thirty-four years with the dog squad, is it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been in the dog squad for a very long time. Very long time. And he's quite comfortable being in the down stay. That wasn't a problem. No, he's not doing too bad. Mm. All the dogs have all got different temperaments, different drive levels. Some are very responsive, some are reluctant. It's all about forming that bond. Mm. Mm. So again, you just stay with the on lead stuff until you get that really at a really highly proficient level before you go into the off lead and, and do it from there. And that's good. Yep. Looks like he's gonna finish up here shortly. Yep. Back on with he's the happy lead. with that. Yep. He's happy with and that. And happy uh, to have a game. Finish yep. off with a game. Yep. Is that a normal yeah, thing? That's a normal yeah. thing okay. for them to do. That's their reward. That's what they look for. Yeah. I think the South Queensland one, the the rapport and the, um, you know the dog was wanting to please. Uh, Tim and Boss. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Tim and Boss. Yeah. 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 Um, and once again, um, uh, that dog was. Um, very explosive as well, yeah. and um, mm. so he's, he's had to do a lot of work with it uh, to get it to where he is right now. Mm. He's got a great bond with the dog. Yes, so it's, yes, it's yes. fantastic. I thought they did a great mm. job. Uh, they were very, very impressive. Mm. Scott and Jack, so I, I, I've got to say that the mm. uh, the uniform, uh, you've got to get an extra point. For you that. do, yeah. <laughs> yes. Any dog that can wear a yeah. uniform, yeah. Yeah. so professionally, gets an extra point for me. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Ryan and Talis from Townsville was very responsive. To, I thought they did know, a great they, job. They, they, yeah. they, you know, the dog responded and, yeah. um, you know, to the commands and was wanting to please all the way through. Yeah. So yeah. they also had a good bond as well. That's my, my mm. view as well. Mm. I thought they did a great job. Mm. Well, thanks for joining us for our first ever QCS top dog episode. We hope to see you next time for the Agility Challenge. Capricornia Correctional Centre is currently undergoing a $241 million prison expansion and is expected to be completed mid-2021. 
enhancing the safety and security of the prison. As a part of the expansion, we are currently looking for Queenslanders from all walks of life to join our team on the front line of community safety in permanent full-time jobs, including custodial correctional officers, trade instructors, psychologists, and program delivery officers. For more information and to apply, visit corrections.qld.gov.au. Go on, Diesel. Let's show them who the top dog is, mate. I really hope the other dogs don't see me like this. <laughs>